Welcome to the SPSS demonstration video for Chapter 9, Tests for Significance, Paired and Independent Samples T-Tests. I'm the author of your text, Richard Landers. In this video, we'll be exploring four research questions relating to the use of paired samples and independent samples T-Tests as described in the text. So we'll take them one by one. To start, research questions one and two. Do employees have greater typing skills six months after hiring than when they were hired? And two, do employees have a different level of satisfaction with office work six months after hiring than when they were hired? So these two questions both involve the same people at two points in time, so they must be paired samples tests. We will open paired samples tests by running analyze compare means paired samples t. Now the way that, S that SPSS calculates these pairs is it always does variable one minus variable two. So that means if you want to have a positive value for time two being higher than time one, then that means you want to subtract time two minus time one. And we discussed this issue in some depth in the text. But that means here you need to enter the six months variable as variable one and the at hiring variable as variable two. We can run both of these sets simultaneously uh, so we can do both of our C tests in a single analysis. Once we have entered the pairs that we want, we can hit OK. The output pane will pop up, and we will see both of our, uh, both of our sets of t-tests at the bottom. So here, we have pair 1, typing speed after 6 months, minus typing speed at hiring. So you get a nice reminder of which is subtracted from which there. And office work at satisfaction after 6 months, satisfaction at hiring. We go over, we can spot the t-tests right there. 2.913 significance, uh, the p-value is 0 0.004 for a two-tailed test. Uh, the second test, 0.217, the, the two-tailed p-value is 0.829. So since the RQ1 was do employees have greater typing skills, that means that's a one-tailed test, so we must divide this value by two. The p-value is in reality 0 0.002. Now remember, before you do this, to check is the is the observed effect in the appropriate direction. We were expecting a positive effect here. Was there a positive effect? Yes, we have a positive t value. That means it is valid to divide this in two. So you would report here t with 150 degrees of freedom equals 2.913p equals 0 0.002. Uh, for the other test, it is not statistically significant. Uh, so we would conclude, uh, we, we would, and it was also a two-tailed test, so we would conclude P equals 0.829, not statistically significant. Note that if you want to compute Cohen's D, you need to divide the mean by the standard deviation presented within the table for the pair that you are subtracting. Next, we'll need to conduct our independent samples T's. Uh, we'll actually go back to our data set because we need to know what numbers are used for these various categories in order to create the independent samples T. Research question three is, do male and female employees type at different speeds when hired? And research question four is, do employees hired with no prior typing experience type more slowly than employees hired with prior typing experience? That means for gender, we're comparing groups one and two, but for prior experience, we're comparing groups zero and one. This means that we'll need to run two separate sets of independent samples T's. So here, to run this, analyze to compare means to independent samples t-test. We'll look at the differences in, on research question three first. Do male and female employees type at different speeds when hired? So we'll use the type at hire as our test variable. That's our dependent variable. And we'll use gender as our grouping variable. Once we've specified our grouping variable, we need to, we need to indicate that it was groups one and two that we wanted to compare. So click on Define Groups and type those groups in, 1 and 2. When you hit Continue, we'll hit OK. The independent samples t-test will then run. We scroll over, we can see uh, that if we assume equal variances, which we will always do for the purposes of this text, our t-value, our t-statistic is negative 0.4. Uh, our two-tailed significance value is 0.69. So this is definitely not statistically significant. We will run this process again, uh, see if you can create it on your own, independent samples T. We'll keep type at higher since that's still our DV, um, but we will move our gender variable out and move prior experience in, redefining our groups as 0 and 1. Hit continue, then OK. We will see that in this case, we have uh, a T value of negative 0.35, 
or negative 3.5 with a p, two tail p value of 0 0.001. However, in this case, uh, we again need to check to make sure that they are in the in the presumed direction. If we go up here, we see that those with prior experience as a typist have a higher mean than those without prior experience as a typist. That is consistent with the direction hypothesized, which means that we can interpret the p-value as it is written. So we would divide this in half, 0 0.0005, which would round to 0 0.001, still, still effectively the same, uh, same p-value. Uh, this is definitely statistically significant. We can then uh, use this information presented up here uh, and others to, to calculate any effect sizes as needed uh, to complete the problem. So that's it. We have covered both paired and independent samples t-tests in the context of SPSS. That is it for Chapter 9.